What's good, YouTube? With the release of the iPhone 12, we get to see the minimalistic design of iOS in AMOLED glory. And one feature that's always been somewhat absent on iOS is the ability to use custom fonts until quite recently around iOS 13. In this video, we'll be going over two methods that you can use to install custom fonts on iOS 13 that you can use on applications like Microsoft Word, as well as the other iOS applications that support different fonts such as pages. If you like this kind of content, don't forget to subscribe and thanks for watching. So the first method of installing custom fonts on your iPhone 12 is through a app called Font Diner. You can get it for free on the App Store and it was one of the first apps that supported custom fonts when Apple allowed this back on iOS 13. So to install Font Diner, simply head over to the App Store and type in Font Diner. You'll want to download it and then after it finished downloading, you'll want to open it up. From here, you'll be asked uh, a few permissions for Font Diner. And then you can select the various fonts that you can get for Freeze app. I'm going to install the Silverware font set, which contains a series of 23 fonts. Hit the activate button. And you'll be prompted with a choice to agree to their terms of use. Hit agree and then you'll be prompted again to install the fonts. After you hit install, um, you'll be notified if the fonts will be installed successfully. You can hit close on those notifications. Now, if you go into an app like Pages, you'll be able to see the font in the character menu of Pages. So I'll just select some text here. And then I'll go into my styles tab. And then if I choose my list of fonts, all of my new fonts will be appearing in the list of options. A pretty quick and painless way of installing some custom fonts on iOS. The second method is involving a few more steps, but it allows you to a greater access of fonts. For the second method, you want to head back into the App Store and you want to find an app called iFont, which is also a free application. Download iFont. And open it up to make sure that it loads properly. After you've successfully downloaded and installed iPhone, you'll have to move on to the second step of installing custom fonts on your iPhone. Here, what you want to do is head over to Safari, open up Google, and type in free fonts. There's a variety of search results and websites where you can get free fonts, but normally the first search is the website Da Font. Here at this website, you can get a variety of paid and for free fonts. For the purposes of this video, we'll, we'll head over to the free font section. There's a 100% free font called Avander here that we'll download. So click on the download button and you'll be prompted to download the zip font. Download it and make sure that it downloads into your download folder on your iPhone. After you finish downloading your font, head back into iFont. Hit the import button at the top right of the iFont app, and then you'll be able to select the latest fonts that you've downloaded. We'll open up a vendor here, which is a zip file, and it's going to extract the fonts. Here you want to import into iFont and make sure it's selected. And then iFont will begin to import the newly downloaded fonts. You'll get taken back to the main 
page of iFont and here you can select each of the different versions of your newly downloaded font for install. Here we'll install Evander Extra Bold. and Evander Extra Light. You'll want to, to let the fonts load into iOS and you'll know it's loading and working correctly if you see the loading readout on each of these fonts. If the fonts aren't loading at this point, there's gonna be one more step that you have to do. You wanna head into your settings menu, and then you wanna go into iPhone settings suggestions. And at the bottom of the iPhone settings suggestions, there'll be profile downloaded. Hit the view profile button, and then you'll probably notice the fonts that you've just downloaded here in the view profile option. Hit install, and this is the final step of the installation of the font, where you'll be prompted for your password. Enter in your passport password and then the iPhone will signal you for the final installation. Hit done and then you should have the font that you've just downloaded installed on your iPhone. It says in the profile the font name and the configuration profile as installed through iFont. To make sure that you have the font installed correctly, I'll head back into pages here. And then I'll select some text. And then I'll go into my style menu and change the font. And there it is, Evander, the recently downloaded font, right there in Apple's Pages. So while this second option does give you access to a lot more fonts that you can find online, it is a little bit more inconvenient as you have to install an individual profile for each of the fonts that you install. Overall, it's worth it if you pay particular attention to the typography when you're using your word processing apps on your iPhone. So what do you think? Do you think this method of installing new fonts on your iPhone is worth it? Leave a message down below. Don't forget to subscribe. And thanks for watching.